Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you 12 different lotions that I've tried out for my dry skin. I'm gonna share with you my opinions based on my experiences and rank them. So let's go ahead and get started. We have Torel, Aveeno, Lubriderm, CeraVe, Nivea, Vaseline, Eucerin, Gold Bond, and Vanna Cream. So in no particular order, we have CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This cream is super thick, but easy to spread. It is completely unscented. It's super moisturizing and it lasts a long time on the skin. I started using it three years ago when I had contact dermatitis and it definitely helped. It is a little expensive for a cream. However, in my opinion, it is 100% worth it. So it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Moving along, we have Vanna Cream. It reminds me of the CeraVe cream that I just shared. However, it is thicker and a little bit harder to spread, but it can feel a little tacky at times, but it is exceptionally effective for very dry skin. So I do love it and I will easily give it a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have Lubriderm. This is the advanced therapy for extra dry skin. I love this one. It's super creamy. Um, it's like, for me, the perfect consistency for an after shower lotion. Very easy to spread, but also very thick at the same time. In my opinion, it's reasonably priced and it works well. So this is my everyday lotion. I love it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. All right, moving on, we have Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion for dry skin. This one's pretty good, but it does have a scent to it even though it's marketed as a fragrance-free lotion. Now it's not anything extreme, but it is there. So it's a very faint scent and I can't place what it is, but it's there. Um, so if you're looking for something completely fragrance-free, you might not like that one, but it does feel good on the skin. So I will give it a nine out of 10. Moving on, we have Use for an Intense Repair and this one's for very dry, flaky skin. Now this one is very different from the other lotions that I've tried. No cap, it smells and feels like glue. And you can't really use it after taking a shower unless you dry off completely. So if you're used to taking a shower and leaving a little bit of water in your body to add moisturizer to your skin, you probably will not like this lotion because it will lock up on you unless your skin is completely dry after a shower. So it is different, but it does moisturize and it works well. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Moving on, we have Nivea Essentially Enriched. Now this one is blowing up on TikTok. Everyone is talking about it and I wanted to try it because growing up, we didn't buy Nivea. So first and foremost, I'm not really a fan of the smell, but this melts into my skin and it makes it feel silky smooth. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because I don't like the smell, but my goodness, that one's good. I like that one. And we have the intense healing version. I compare the two and I do like the blue bottle more it feels richer and I feel that it lasts longer even though the bottle says differently. This one is supposed to last 72 hours. The blue bottle, 48 hours. If I had to choose one over the other, I would go with the blue bottle versus the intense healing. So a solid nine out of 10. Moving on, we have Vaseline Cocoa Radiant. This is the old bottle and here's a new bottle. This is a decent lotion. It smells really good. It's creamy, very moisturizing. I usually have to reapply it so it doesn't last a long time for me but it's a decent lotion. So I will give it a nine out of 10. Moving on to Vaseline Advanced Repair. This one has a chemical smell. It does work well, but the smell is off-putting to me. I personally would not buy this one again because of the smell. So I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Moving on, we have Purell Ultra Healing. So this one is for extra dry skin. However, it really didn't do too much for me. I had to reapply it constantly. And it also left my skin feeling sticky. It also smells a little weird to me. Um, there's like a chemical smell to it, so I wasn't really a fan of that. I'm gonna give this one a four out of 10 for dry skin. Moving on, we have Gold Bond Diabetics. This is for dry skin. Now this is a very thick cream and it does work well for dry skin. However, it does smell weird for an unscented lotion. It also feels a little sticky to me when I put it on. So I do like it for dry skin, but it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Then we have CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, which is a lightweight lotion. Um, this one isn't for dry skin, but I use it on my face in the wintertime underneath a thicker cream. So this one for me is a solid 10 out of 10. So those are my favorite and least favorite lotions. Let me know what your favorites are in the comments below. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. The next video is on the screen. Until next time.